Hello everyone and welcome to my newest gameplay, this time it's another request by the same person that uh, requested me to do, uh, I think it was Sean White Snowboarding and this time it's Rally Fusion, Race of Champions, it's a game from, you know, from the early 2000s centered mainly about the Race of Champions but, but, but at that time it was fairly good because, you know, it was basically centered about rally drivers and it was you know, on a super special stage that actually looked like a proper super special stage instead of the stadium boring fucking shit that we see nowadays. But yeah, this game is not like that. This game is about the actual event, uh, you know. I, well, right now I have few minor glitches, visual glitches mainly. I can play properly. I hope it's not too bad. But yeah. Um, well, I've done some testing and well, uh, first of all, we're going to try to play the rock challenge mode, which, you know, it's about, you know, qualifiers. Before you can compete against the best, take to the track and prove your ability. Class C, challenge non-rally drivers using compact rally cars. Also, some of them are not rally cars, like the rock boogie or a freaking Toyota Rap 4, because for some reason that was used in the actual race at some point. Class B, challenge advanced rally drivers using high performance rally cars. Well, this is a bit of an understatement because, you know, we are talking about WRC drivers using WRC cars, so it's not bad at all. Class A, challenge the finest rally drivers using some of the fastest rally cars ever built. They are talking about Group B cars, a Sat 93 rally cross car for some reason, and also one that doesn't fit at all in the class that it's the Lancia Stratos which would be basically as fast as one of these as fast as one of the classy cars in real life but yeah video games so yeah we have three events to do you know there's a qualifier in Desert Heat 1 uh, well there's a sorry a time trial in Desert Heat 1 a driving challenge in the Motordome and a and a time rally, you know, in the in the canyon fire, so yeah. Basically, you know, three time trials. And yeah, this is one of the few minor glitches. I mean, it's only on the menus. And sometimes on the goddamn, uh, you know, uh, actual gameplay screen. But, I mean, as far as I can tell, I mean, it's not that serious, so yeah. We should be fine. It's just fine. It's the first time I'm using a freaking PS2 emulator, so yeah. Just be thankful it is fucking working. Because I had a hard, a hard time trying to make it work. So yeah, we're, you know, with a wrap for Missing the spare rear wheel. Is that? Is that blur from, you know, from the heat or something like that? Yeah, I guess it's because of the heat. Because, you know, I've, I was playing, you know, some other stage, you know, early before, earlier before. And yeah, it didn't look like this at all. I'm not gonna play around with the cameras because, you know, that's one of the things that activates the goddamn glitch, uh, you know, in during the gameplay. It makes the car, like, you know, look, uh, you know, with those bars. And yeah, even though this game doesn't... Okay. Uh, I was like, yeah, sometimes it's good to make a sh to take a shortcut in this game and then, you know, slow down. Oh god. So yeah, I guess 211 shouldn't be too hard because, you know, the, I mean, it's the qualifier, like, yeah, are they going to make it hard already? This is one of the games, this is one of the, these kind of games that, you know, basically everything is locked at the beginning. I mean, not everything, but, you know, a lot of things. So yeah, PS2 games, you know, back when almost everything was locked at the beginning. Jesus Christ, the heat effect is actually disturbing. Seriously, I didn't have this mo this motion blur back, uh, you know, a few seconds ago, a few minutes. Yeah, it was like a couple of minutes ago. Yeah, just playing around with a rap for that has the world's hardest suspension. Because Jesus Christ, it doesn't even swing. Oh, fuck it. I mean, this car would be undrivable in real life, because, you know, so fucking rigid. Like, nothing can make this car this rigid. And I guess we are in the final straight, pretty much, yeah. And we are going to be fine by over 10, by almost 10 seconds. So yeah, not so bad. 120 miles an hour, 
with a goddamn rub for Jesus Christ video games back then well and, and even video games n uh, now are also crazy like you know just play the crew where you can use a KTM 450 EXE and shoot it at like 220 miles an hour with the street spec it's, it's a stupid it's a stupid it's fucking stupid oh the rock boogie this guy is still used I guess I'm gonna choose a shorter GR radio because I know that these events are like super fucking tight and I'm gonna probably need to restart like a thousand times because you know I've seen videos of people doing it and yeah either they suck or this is actually hard okay the car is sluggish to say the least oh god That was bad. That was much better. Why is everything so fucking hilly if we are supposed to be on tarmac? I'm on 16 seconds positive, which is, you know, nice, I guess. Yeah, 33 seconds. I guess it was actually shit, but you know, I'm fine. I think I'm fine. I mean, I know how to drive in video games. Like, it's basically a natural instinct to me, which is nice. But yeah. Another one done. And this time, oh, with a score, I guess it's an RS 1800 or something like that. I guess we're gonna have to use the intermediate again. Hmm. But yeah, so far so good. I guess this first episode is gonna fly by fairly easily. And I don't know how the fuck am I going to deal with the whole, uh, you know, race of champions at all events. Because I don't know if I should do it. By the way, you can drive this game with the double stick, you know. Analog driving, analog braking and all that. Okay, this car feels different. Oh god, uh, you know, glitch on the on the rear bumper. Okay, it's gone. Thank god. Oh, this is actu an actual racetrack or something? And they are talking about laps. It's only one lap. Jesus Christ, that's some downhill. Okay. Jesus Christ, this was... Okay, that's not a hairpin, that's like 270 degrees. Yeah, I mean, the, the glitch is happening from time to time, but oh god, I was way too enthusiastic with that one. Yeah, I think I'm fine. To be honest, knowing the tracks, I guess it's going to be, you know, pretty much key. Because the notes are fairly bad, the co-driver notes. And, you know, that usually makes... Um, usually means that... Oh, God! Should have notified me, God damn it. And, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna do it by, like, 15 seconds. So, yeah, it's like graphical glitches, but... To, be, to a point I do not care because it's not that unnerving, I guess, and it's not that annoying. I hope it's not worse when, you know, few cars are on the screen. Then... Oh, okay. I guess this is the final one. Head to head with the Formula France, which is... Which kinda looks like a... I, I don't know, I, I don't know about, about this car, to be honest. I've never seen it. Should, I should, you know, I should... Uh, I should actually, you know, try to find some info about it. I do not know about the car. By the way, I've seen videos that uh, in this uh, Gran Canaria special stage, you know, the real one, you can take the alternate routes. Oh God, it's Tom Christensen. Back when he had only won like two Le Mans.
perfect start, you know, we are tight basically. Okay, graphical glitch is much worse now. Damn it, why now? Okay, maybe that maybe this one wasn't the best one. Maybe I should have taken the normal route there. Okay, this car is creepy as fuck. By the way, is this like kilometers or like, you know, miles? I wanna say it's miles, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I guess it's miles because, you know, when the when the high score screen is on... Oh, God. Try to turn. Cannot turn. I'm gonna take the normal road. Yeah, I'm not gonna be a cheeky bastard. This is one of the stages I haven't tested. I tested one in Arctic and one in Inca route, I think it was, or something like that. Yeah, two of the normal rally stages. I just wanted to say, to say, you know, I, I know I did both with the uh, with the Cordoba, in the south. And I guess that that was a good lap time because you know. You finished first. Let's try to see, you know, where the fuck is going to finish Tom Christensen. Still not there. Still not there. Holy fuck, Tom! What the fuck is wrong with you? 15 seconds behind. Yes. Oh, it's some multi-stage kind of thing? Or is this just like one race? I hope it's one race. Mm. Oh no, just, yeah, well, just one race. So yeah, rally or license awarded. And they make and they made uh, Tom Christensen look like shit. That's weird. So yeah, see you next time. Bye bye!